For someone afflicted with Alzheimer's disease or another memory loss illness, the loss of contact with familiar things is the loss of a world, a life, a past. Familiar objects are now strange, and to be thrust into an environment totally foreign dramatically compounds the suffering. If you're a member of an Alzheimer's family, we may be telling you things you already know. But in the next few minutes, we will show you something you might not have known about. A solution that eliminates the guilt, fear, and anxiety associated with the need to seek professional care. It's known as Comfort Care Homes. Comfort Care Homes. Personalized Alzheimer's care in the comfort of home. You would not know a comfort care home from any other residence on the block. Typically, you'll see a spacious, attractive ranch-style home in an established and desirable neighborhood. There is no sign in the yard, no institutional complex of identical rooms, no long and personal halls lined with patients. Inside, the enticing smell of home cooking fills the air. A small family of residents and caregivers are cooking up a meal, sharing chores, swapping stories in the living room. Loved ones drop by for a visit and stay for lunch. A husband takes his wife for a stroll up the street in the shade of the tree-lined walk. What is so unusual about life here is that nothing about it is unusual. One resident sits in her favorite chair and works on a quilt. Another tends his garden. Others take in the sunshine and the security of their own backyard. Success in everyday living, a lifetime of dignity and self-esteem that lives on in a place called home. My mother has a lot of dignity and Alzheimer's can tend to take away that dignity and I think Comfort Care has given it back to her. She's in a home where she feels comfortable, where she's respected and loved, and that's very important to me. Most people learn about Alzheimer's disease or other memory-related afflictions through suffering along with a loved family member or perhaps a good friend. Our family did the same thing. We had both members, my father and mother, suffering with the disease. And we, had to, we, we cared for them in our own home because we just couldn't bring ourselves to place them in the sterile institutional atmosphere that was available at the time. After their death, we created what's called Comfort Care Homes. In quality medical care, as a general rule, bigger is better. Where memory loss disorders are concerned, the rule is more the opposite. Traditional hospitals and nursing homes are too structured and too busy with skilled medical needs to offer someone with memory loss the level of warm personal attention they require. When we went to a lot of the places that had really pretty exteriors and looked almost like a hotel, but then we got beyond the hotel you know, lobby, it, it was really scary to us. But then when we came to Comfort Care Homes, it felt very warm and inviting, and it just made us feel really comfortable. Um, everybody knows everybody. It just felt very warm and safe, and it's home. Everything about a comfort care home is designed to make the surroundings familiar, the care consistent, to foster links with the past, and replace confusion and anxiety in the mind of the resident. For example, our staffing patterns are designed to be different from the average institution, with one care team assigned to each home. Result, your loved one becomes familiar with caregivers on a predictable schedule, instead of having to cope with new faces every few hours. Also, thanks to this staffing concept, our care team members become very familiar with not just the health care needs of the resident, but with their personal habits, their likes and dislikes. A crucial component of meeting each resident's individual health and emotional needs. Smaller numbers and this nurturing social setting allow residents to become familiar and comfortable with one another. We waited as long as we could and felt terribly guilty about it and finally made the decision and it wasn't a week after we'd made the decision that we realized that was the right thing to do.
you know, it's a very painful thing to do, uh, but it's a short-term kind of painful thing to do because it becomes very apparent that, in this case, my mom was getting better care at comfort homes than she was getting at home. We are qualified for and committed to making comfort care homes the best choice for our residents and their families, whether they come to us in early or more advanced stages of memory loss. This was the first one. She had been in round-the-clock um, caregiving at home for two years, but finally we just couldn't afford it anymore, and so this was her first and only place. We've had very few concerns the whole time, and she's been here for over two and a half years now. For many residents, a move to a skilled nursing complex will never be necessary. Our environment, expertise, and individualized care make Comfort Care Homes the choice of many medical professionals. The fact that Comfort Care also offers the situation for those who have uh, gone to the very advanced stages of Alzheimer's is really important to us. Uh, we want mom to stay in Comfort Care as long as possible, and, and that is um, a sense of relief to know that there is that possibility beyond the home that she's in right now, that there is one for those in the most severe and most advanced stages, and that we don't have to put her into what I call an institution, but she still stays in a home. Is the environment therapeutic? This question should be asked of any long-term care facility. We focus on psychological and social comfort. This means that many of our residents have had to rely less on medication to treat anxiety and agitation. Moving your loved one to a family home, a comfort care home, is the best approach you can take to minimize transfer trauma, the shock of being thrust into totally foreign clinical surroundings. We like to say it's a change of address, not lifestyle. In our case, there isn't any doubt that our mom deserved the very best. I mean, heck, it's our mom. So, comfort care homes. <laughs>